Hello, my name's Sarah Hatherley, and this is the game of my life. Let's roll the dice and get started. Where do I start? How can I explain that a brand new pair of ballet shoes could cause so much pain? They were beautiful and satiny, a lovely shade of pink. So why on earth kick up such a stink? I won't do it, I won't wear them, you can't make me try. Even I was beginning to wonder what was making me cry. But I didn't see pretty. They looked more like shackles. And waving them in front of me, well, it got up my hackles. I know it seems ungrateful, or something even worse. To knock back this gift must have seemed plain perverse. With half the world starving, who would dare to complain? It was hardly life and death. I just hoped to stay sane. You see, I've known from the start what was expected of me, even before I was born. And yes, I'll admit that's spooky. My mother is what you'd call tall, graceful, lithe, and she's wanted to be a ballerina ever since she was five. But as fate would have it, she had an accident in her teens. I'm sure you've worked out just what this means. The end of a career that never even started, and the start of an obsession that would have me martyred. All my mother's passions and hopes for the future were heaped onto me, it was absolute torture. And while I didn't take after old Aunt Marjorie, who had ankles the size of small baobab trees, it took only a glimpse of my funny knock knees and well, you can just imagine some of the difficulties. It's not like you'd call me a huge heifer lump, although I spent quite some time on my rump. Clumsy was the word that was spoken in whispers, which is why my name never appeared on the fixtures. Needless to say, Mother's dreams were quite shattered. I just wish she'd understood it hardly mattered. It was all simply part of this game called life, and it's far more interesting when it's loaded with strife. Conflict may be confusing and terribly upsetting, but that's mainly because we have this habit of forgetting. We forget why we came here, and it's for that we yearn. Each hardship is a hurdle with an opportunity to learn. So when I chose my parents before I was born, I signed up for ballet classes and a teacher's scorn. I know you must wonder if I'm not some kind of dork who thinks babies are dropped off by a benevolent stork or found in a cabbage patch, but I know that's not true. No, this is quite different and possibly taboo. So let's imagine a board game with a special set of rules and let's see if we can avoid being treated like fools. There are no winners or losers in my game of real life, just millions of choices, like to be a husband or wife. At the end of each round, no one asks, how much did you earn? It's all about challenges and what did you learn? It's part jigsaw, part word game and more like a riddle. But the biggest puzzle of all is how to get out of the middle. That's when you discover you've reached a new crossroads and with the roll of the dice, you could meet a prince or a toad. It can be difficult to make sense of the cards you've been dealt, especially when you choose a dad who's tough with his belt. But there's no end to the fun in this game of my life. It just takes eternity to see it in that light. So the dream that danced in front of mum's eyes could have become my nightmare, something to despise. It was difficult to tell her the truth of the matter, and I was worried she'd say I was mad as a hatter. But I'd quietly formed my very own dream, to be part of a small marine biology team. I'd swim with the dolphins and protect their habitat. That would make my heart dance, I was sure about that. So while the last thing I wanted was to cause any upsets, I had to be done with it and end the pirouettes. Mum, I've tried all the positions, given it my very best. Now the world has to make do without my arabesque. And just when you think you know how the game works, there's another surprise. It's just one of the perks. They finally understood the source of my zeal. Put me in water and I'm as graceful as a seal. So if you ever wonder if perhaps you got the wrong parents, just remember the game and who chose those tyrants.